where some of college football's greats have called home. Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, where these fans are ready to turn the dogs loose. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Three tight ends in the formation on first and 10. They'll leave it with him. He has the first and still on his feet. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Touch pass on the run. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking downfield, it's back. Zings it complete to the right. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the and offense right where you are. Back on the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to run it. At the 35, he's open. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Bulldogs will have it first and 10. Going to run it. It's ETN. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Second down coming up. Here we go. To the air. It's back. They're bringing heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. 
You know, this is a very well-rounded defensive line. They play this 4-3 scheme. They've got guys up front that keep their gap integrity against the run, but they can also win one-on-one -on -one against the... Throws toward the end zone. Got it. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. They'll try to power it in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution in the drive by that offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Bounces through the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Offense getting set for first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. In the double coverage. And they made him pay. It's intercepted. Didn't let him get loose on the return. But he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening. Run or pass. And it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dan. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Looking for a huge play. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so we can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Defense going to use a timeout. Can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. And the dogs looking to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that's open. Downfield and incomplete. The defense holds. Nice job by the defense. Great pass defense. Getting in the lanes. Doing a really good job understanding they were going to throw the football in this fourth down. They played it well. Incomplete pass. Defense turns to offense. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. And this one's not working. He'll just throw it away. Good decision by the QB. You're outside the pocket. You're trying to find an open target. No one's open. Throw it away and live to play another day. Here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's Sanders. This time he's got his man. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He's looking to throw it. 
Shoots it to the left. Oh, picked off. Bringing it back. The 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the play and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. They'll try to attack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. Get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. That one bounds through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. The dogs will line up to kick off and start the second half. The kickoff bounces through the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. A big reason they find themselves trailing to start the second half, those two turnovers in the first. Yeah, and I think coaches will tell you the number one thing that you got to make sure you do is take care of the football. You want to create explosives, you want to put up a bunch of yards, but step one, Jesse, taking care of the football. It just goes to show you how critical those mistakes are. Only two plays. That's really what separates this team from potentially having the lead. If they clean up the errors, they've got a chance to win this game. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Fires to the big fella. Well, they were counting on winning the one-on-one -on -one battle. They got the completion, but the yardage didn't work out. Yeah, and a lot of times, man, that's what I do on short yardage situation. Third and short, make my guy fall forward for a couple yards, try to get the first down, but it was a good tackle, and the receiver got absolutely nowhere after the catch. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. In your own territory, fourth down, no problem at all. They just go for it again. What about you, Reese? And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. He was looking for room to return that, but he'll just hand it to the offense. They'll take over at the 18. 